I looked at a lot of musical movies before starting out to do something like that for inspiration, and I didn't like the way the music was integrated in those films. It was almost like, okay, here's a musical number. Uh, I'm a big opera buff. And so what I decided to do was structure the music in the movie more as it is in an opera and integrate the songs into the drama of the piece. They wrote their own songs. A.B., Selena's brother, wrote almost all of her hits with Pete Astudio. So I believe that the music that they wrote was about, subconsciously, obviously, what they were going through emotionally at that point in their lives. Mm -hmm. And so I sat down with A.B. and we went through when the songs were written and under what circumstances they were written because he knew all that kind of stuff. And of course, interestingly enough, for example, Bitty Bitty Bomb Bomb in the movie becomes the song that is an expression of her independence, like an aria. You know, I can do anything, and you kind of do Bitty Bitty Bomb Bomb, and boom, you know, she's doing it. Well, that's the one song that Selena, in fact, wrote herself. So, to me, all of that stuff really fell into place, you know, quite nicely with respect to the movie. And I tried to keep the music part of the, the flow of the drama mm -hmm. and to comment on the drama. So, you know, like in the Monterey concert, for example, with the, you know, they're doing La Carcaccia and the stage is coming down. And, you know, it's a musical number, but it's part of this thing. And she finally emerges as a superstar because she makes this mythic leap at that moment to try to become one with that crowd and tame it. 